What's going on guys? So I am here at Del Air RV Center in Corpus Christi, Texas, and I asked them what is one of the most unique floor plans that they have, and they pointed me to this unit right here. This is a Trail Runner it's by Heartland, and this is the 31DB. Now, there are other manufacturers that build floor plans similar to this, but I really like the execution on this one. I like the tones, and I think you're gonna like it too, so hang tight, I'll be right back. Right off the bat, I know I'm gonna like the fact that it has rack and pinion slides. Let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,600 pounds and a cargo capacity of 1,920 pounds. So this one's not too bad. I'm actually pretty good with the numbers here, especially if you're gonna be using a three quarter ton truck or a one ton truck to haul this. When I say one ton, single rear wheel truck is really all you would need. Now. You can probably tell one slide, the other side didn't have any slides on it, has electric stabilizer jacks, has a front power tongue jack up front, and it can hold two propane cans. It's a nice unit. Let's take a look at the outside. Right off the bat, I mean, it's pretty obvious this is a stick and tin unit, which means it is a wood frame with aluminum siding over it. Not a bad way to construct trailers. It definitely can give you some benefits in terms of insulation. Very easy to service. If you ever damage a unit like this, it's very easy to repair compared to a fiberglass unit because you don't have to do a lot of cutting. You don't have to get into the aluminum frame. On something like this, it's relatively easy to fix. Let's take a look at the front pass-through storage. Under here, you can see it's about a foot and a half tall, about two and a half feet wide at the bottom, maybe three feet wide at the top. Good amount of space though. I like that the floor is finished off all the way through, which simply means that the linoleum when it was placed down was ran front to back. Again, you can see the power stabilizer jacks. This is gonna be the back of your furnace. This is where your cable connections, things like that, if you're gonna put a TV on the outside of this unit. So you have power and you have a cable connection right here. You have your outdoor speakers up here as well. Coming in, does not have an upgraded equalizer, but that is, again, something you typically don't see on travel trailers, mainly because of the weight of the trailer. There's not a lot of weight to these for the most part. That is a very easy part to upgrade also. This rides on an eight inch I-beam frame. This is going to be your outside kitchen area. Looking in here, I do like the fact that there's a sink. So you get a two burner cooktop, you have an outside sink, some nice storage area, and a micro refrigerator. So this is a nice outside kitchen. Not crazy large, but very functional. Love the fact that they put a sink in it. Like the fact they have a three year warranty. You can see this enormous awning, looks to be about a 20 foot awning that covers most of this side. On the back here, you can see you have electric stabilizers as well. Nice accessory rack on the back. That is really cool, and that's it's something you really don't see in this price range of travel trailer. Once we get inside, you look at the price of this unit, I think you're gonna be pretty impressed with some of the things that you get on this unit. Because it's stick and tin, there is gonna be a cost reduction over your traditional fiberglass side unit as well. So, a lot of things to like about this unit in terms of what you get for the price incandescent lights that's an area i kind of wish it had leds leds have come down in price so much it's pretty much kind of a normal thing just to see on rvs now up top it is wired for a furion wireless backup camera and typically that just means it was wired into the top light up there so whenever you turn the light on it initiates the camera coming around this side you have all your connections in one spot i like the fact that they put this little outside shower right here right at the back. That's really convenient, especially if you want to spray off your hoses, your lines, things like that. Looking underneath here, again, you can see the eight inch I-beam frame, rack and pinion slide. All right, guys, let's take a look inside of this 31 dB. They use the Moride step above step system here on the side. Opening up. Not a friction hinge door, kind of wish they had that on this unit. Again, that's to me one of those things that should pretty much come standard on it. Anyways, guys, take a look at this floor plan. Not unlike some floor plans that I've already walked through, but the execution of it is done very well. A lot of countertop space. You might wonder why there's a space right here, and that's because this slide, when it comes in, that's kind of where it tucks into. Nice three seat sofa right here. This is a jackknife sofa, so it can turn into a bed really quick. 
Coming towards the back, you can see the bunkhouse area. This has a narrower bunk up top, looks to be about two feet wide, and the one on the bottom looks more like a full size. This is definitely big enough for more than one child. You got some storage right there, you got lighting, plus you have a place to mount a TV. Over here, you got a really cool space. So you have a countertop right here, some cabinets beneath it. That's actually a really cool little space. Back here, you have a half bath. So that is awesome. So this unit has a nice half bathroom for the kiddos and the guests who will be in this area, while at the same time giving you a main master bath up front. You have a spot for a TV. I like how the TV would be mounted directly in front of the sofa area right here, so that's very convenient. You can see this has a price tag of $24,900. That is the sale price. Plus you have cabinetry here, some storage or whatever you need to put here for your DVD player, Blu-ray player and such. Like I said, good countertop space here. This converts into a bed. This thing can sleep a ton of people. Let's just say two up front, two right here, two right here, two right here, and one right there. So that's two, four, six, eight, nine. So you can sleep nine people. Again, the kitchen's not too bad. It's got some good countertop space right here. You could definitely fit a coffee maker back there. Has a nice real backsplash to it, instead of just like a faux wallpaper version. Coming back, let's take a look in the bathroom. It has a good size shower stall. So the shower stall is about two and a half feet deep, about three feet wide. It comes off the bottom about five inches. You could be about six foot three to comfortably fit in that shower space. Nice cornered toilet. I do wish they would have cornered it a little bit more this way, so it's facing that way instead of that way. It would have given you a little bit more leg room, but overall there's plenty of room in here. Has a nice little countertop area right here, plus an area for your toiletries, towels and such. Fully ducted air conditioning system. This only has a single air conditioning system, but you do have the ability to install a second one right there. Uses a queen size bed. Looks to be a full length queen size bed as well. It doesn't look like it's the shorter version. You have roughly 18 inches on each side of the bed to get onto the bed. Cabinet space on each side plus some storage up there, and you have a lot of wardrobe space right here. So this has more wardrobe space than most travel trailers I've seen, especially in this price range. That's cool. Let's see if you can fit a washer and dryer in here, though. So not enough room for a washer and dryer. Goes back about 15 inches, but there's plenty of room for clothing in there. Has your sliding pocket door right here. Overall, this is a pretty cool floor plan. At $24,900, this makes this a really good value. And there's a lot of room in here. So there's only one slide, and it's a rack and pinion slide. Not a lot to fail on an RV like this. When it's out, because it's a full depth slide, you have a lot of room in here. Definitely a open feeling RV. What I also like is, even though it's not your traditional full bunkhouse back here, it's a good size bunk space and you have a pocket door right here that closes up so they have their own privacy whenever they're in here. So let's mess with this here. Sorry, it's a little dark. But you can see quite a bit of space back here. This is a good place for kids. This is a good place for them to hang out when the adults are in the living room area. And it gives them a nice private area still. Plus, if you have guests back here, this is definitely big enough to use as a guest bed. They have their own bathroom. You know, I like this floor plan. There's a lot to like about this floor plan, but mainly the fact that you get so much for the price. In my opinion, $24.9 is a good, good price for something like this. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this floor plan. If you haven't had a chance, I'd really appreciate it if you took a moment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I couldn't do this without my subscribers. I really appreciate it, and we'll talk to you again very soon.